Hello everyone, this is Frank from Apple One to One. Today we're going to be looking at how to create a pop-up menu in a spreadsheet and why you would want to do that. In this particular case I have a list of songs. There's about 164 items on this list and I want to have the genre of each of those songs. So rather than retype it over and over again, I want to create a pop-up list that I can just choose from. How we would do that is you're going to select your column for your genre or whatever list you want to create. You're going to go to the paintbrush, you're going to go to format, and you're going to go down to pop-up menu. You're going to hit the I. You can add or delete items that are on this list. If there's nothing on the list, then you're going to start fresh. Now, it picked up genres, right? So we don't want the word genres in there, so we're going to take that out. So what I've done is I've added adult contemporary, alternative blues, country, jazz, pop. So let's add a couple of more. Hit the plus sign. Uh, we'll put in uh, rap. Hit enter. Rock, R&B, and singer-songwriter. The only thing I would suggest when you're creating your list, you want to make sure that um, you want to try to make it as comprehensive as you, as you want for whatever pop-up menu you're creating. All right, so here, just boom, here's our list. So now, anytime we pop up in any one of these cells in that column, this list is going to pop up. We don't have to type that all you're going to want to do is like John Mellon Campfire will say he's he's rock right you go up to a matter of trust by Billy Joel depending upon your point of view you could do rock you could do pop whatever Bob Seger the same thing so then you would go through your list and put them in whatever genre or category whatever you want to call it um, that you want now I'm not going to do that with this entire list I've already done it. So we're going to go to the Song Library tab. So here we have 163 rows, and I've broken these out by different categories. Let's look and see what's on there. We have Adult Contemporary, Alternative Blues, Country Male, Country Female, Jazz, Pop, Rap, Reggae, Rock, R&B, Singer, Songwriter. Now that we have everything filled out, what if I wanted to create a category by genre? So I want to see everything that I have by a particular genre. What you would do is tap on the column, column actions, and then you see about midway down it says add a category for genres. Just tap on that, boom. So now you have category with the genre and, and the little down arrows if you touch that it'll close that so you can see all of the genres now if you wanted to look at oh let's see what do we have under oldies you just hit that and it would expand it that can be very useful so now we have them all expanded so they're by genre different artists right so can you have subcategories and the answer to that is yes so let's say we wanted to see the artists within each category tap on the column column actions create a category for artist now you have a cat the main genre rock by artist so now you can see all of your artists within that particular. So we have uh, Billy Joel in pop. The genres obviously are arbitrary. You can put in whatever you want. So there you are. Now, suppose we wanted to see a summary of the time for each genre. What you would do, tap on that cell, summary actions, sum. So now, 
in the genre, you notice it put the word genre because it's telling you this is your main category. 127 minutes. What if we wanted that same thing by artist? Again, just tap on it. Summary actions. Sum. So now you have a summary by artist in time. So if you wanted to do all of the Bruce Springsteen numbers, it would take approximately 10 minutes. Rolling Stones would take 25 minutes, so on and so forth. With this, I think you can see how you can get some very useful information by using categories, subcategories, and summaries within. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and we'll see you next time. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing our content. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you can see all our training videos as well as links to download our podcast.